Welcome! In this tutorial I'm going to show you how to create sliders to control the position and the rotation of an object in your scenes. So I've already preloaded this scene with SteamVR and the controller and also with uh, three sliders that control the rotation in the three different axes of this cube. And in the remainder of the video I want to show you how easy this can be achieved by creating three more sliders that will control the position of the same object. Let's go ahead and do that. So the first thing we want to do is select the VR element um, GUI. If you don't have it opened, you can open it just so. And select the slider. We're going to create um, three sliders. So one per axis. So first we're going to create the X position. And I'm going to use the icons that come with um, VR Easy to render our slider. These are going to be both local positions that we are going to control with the slider. So for now, we go ahead and create a range from minus one to one in the X axis. And then I'll go ahead and create a slider. Then uh, I'm gonna go ahead before configuring it, create the X, Y, and Z position sliders. Y position will also go from minus one to one, and the Z position will also go in the same range from minus one to one. Okay, so now we have the three sliders. We can position them one on top, so they're not on top of each other. Yes, so that's the slider should be fully functional now. Uh, if I actually get her in the view, there it goes. Put them into position, view them. Okay. And the slider should be working at the moment, yes they are, but obviously they are not they haven't been configured to control the object, which is the second thing that we're going to do now. So to do that we are simply going to attach a script of behavior into the object that we want to control and that script is called transform controller. So any game object that has this script will be able to be configured or controlled by then a slider. The reason why we need these is because we will need to make or expose the position uh, of and the transforms of each individual axis as a public property because this is not done uh, in the transform uh, controller in the transform script we have to we've, we've created a wrapper for it so once the object has that script transform controller we have to configure each of the sliders um, to have the target, the broadcast target, as the cube that we want to control it. Okay, so we just drag as so. And then we have to select the controller, the component that that slider is going to affect. In our case, it's the transform controller. And then within transform controller, any public property will be controllable. We have uh, created X, Y, Z position and rotation properties. So in this case, this is the X position slider so we are going to control the x position link and you can see how the broadcast target has been updated we do the same thing with the y and the z axis link and with the z position do the same z position link uh, and we should see um, that the object is now controlled, um, the, the local position will be controlled by the particular uh, value on the slider. So let's test that. See, the cube is now in position 0, 0, 0. But uh, if we move the X slider, then you can see how the object will move from the range that we've pre-selected, in our case, minus 1 to 1. 
these are just demo values. You can put anything you want according to your game needs. That's the Y position, and that's the Z position. 